Hi, it's Rabbi Ruth, and I'm coming to you live from my living room. These last few weeks have been a really interesting learning experience for me. How do you be a rabbi when you can't actually go into your synagogue building? How do you meet the needs of your congregants when you can't physically be together? And it's gotten me to think about the spaces that we inhabit in our lives. Most of us right now are retreating from the public spaces in our lives, the so places where we work or go to school, and we are spending a lot of time in our private spaces, the places where we are often our most authentic and intimate selves. And during ordinary times, we at Temple Beth Am have our synagogue community to go to. So what happens when we can't go there? What it's made me think about right now is that while there's a special power in physically being together, the sacred values that we've received from our ancestors aren't just captured in one space. And in fact, they're in all the realms that we inhabit in our lives. And so over the next few weeks, Rabbi Jason and Rabbi Dana and I, as well as members of our professional team, will be sharing messages with you by video of different sacred aspects of our synagogue life. This is the first one, so it's being emailed to you. Um, and attached to this email is a PDF. Just in case you're not quite that tech savvy, it has instructions on how to access the video online because after today, we'll be posting them to the website and to our social media. And so until we can be together again in person, let us remember that our lives really aren't bifurcated. They're not this or that, public or private, but that our lives really are one whole, sacred, sometimes challenging, but awfully beautiful adventure. Thanks, stay healthy and stay well.